Hello everyone, I am back with another video and this time it's a bit longer than normal but that's because I made three pages in this little tiny art journal that I made using the tutorial that I bought from uh, Ray Missigman. She's doing the Art Marks challenges throughout the year, I think, and uh, I would like to follow that and I thought I would use all my scraps of paper to create this book. Um, so, um, starting with um, the art marks, I did I did uh, do a pages already, so I'm doing um, three pages in this uh, video, and I'm gonna tape uh, uh, some of the next pages as well. So um, this prompt said, or this mark is called layered. So, um, and during this project, I am going to use. Um, basic materials like uh, crayons, um, acrylic paints, markers and uh, a bit of glaze or something like that. We'll see. But I'm not going to do uh, too much to the pages. Just simple. That's just to challenge myself a bit as well because I find that I'm way too picky and too intricate sometimes and want to make it pretty but now I'm just going to create quick so each and every page is made within a half an hour so challenging myself on time as well so um, choosing uh, these papers out of my box with scraps I've got all these um, uh, scrapbook papers and I tore them all up uh, to create this little book but uh, was left over was left with all these tiny bits so put them in one box and going to use them throughout the next projects so just layering them down that's the word layered and gluing them on with gel medium drying it in between you know I, I didn't leave anything out so the drying has to be shown as well <laughs> um, then I was just taking out my acrylic uh, paints watering it down just a little bit and then just fill in the page um, not overthinking it um, I found that I was way too busy thinking on how I would like to things to go and make it look pretty and this time just doing whatever I feel like and whatever comes in my mind that's what I'm doing so just playing around a little bit of white acrylic using more white I'm trying to just putting it on with my fingers and drying it again so while I was doing this I was thinking about how to create more depth and the whole exercise of these marks is uh, um, well for me anyway is just to draw a bit more but then just loosely doodle things I'm not that good in doodling and uh, I watch uh, people using little dots stripes uh, squares whatever you can think of to make your page pretty and I'm, I'm not seem to be able to do that so that's why I'm trying to uh, work with that a bit more in this book little book and uh, really liking it now I'm just using a little stencil I uh, chose uh, a few stencils I think maybe 10 small stencils and I'm not going to use more of those uh, in this book so um, just simplifying everything that's what I was looking for so this marker I just went over it with uh, my uh, every part with my marker and then uh, create some more squares um, to get the idea that everything is stacked of layered and uh, using white going in with yellow again or deciding on what to do but then I thought okay I started out with the little yellow piece and um, one of the next pages is yellow too so I thought I'm going to bring back the yellow and that looked quite nice and then I thought about um, that piece on the uh, left side that would fit a nice piece of washi tape I thought so 
this one says sorry for my hair <laughs> uh, this one says I'm ridiculously happy with you or something I mean, I'm ridiculously in love with you so and then I thought okay I need a bit more washi tape and then it's really layered so putting that one on as well so I didn't think about how I taped it I'm sorry that I'm not in frame I'm just playing and working so <laughs> um, and then use my Durant intense pencil to go over it so that was one I'm sorry I don't show it that well but uh, I'll put them down on my Instagram uh, later so you can follow that or watch that if you like now second page was I think stacked yes yeah, stacked and I immediately thought about a stamp that was uh, one of the new sheets or previous sheets the crows and it has a stack of stones so I might use that one and uh, I thought that the yellow was so pretty that I wanted to mix it with um, gray but then I almost just lost the yellow as you can see so I go in with my charcoal pencil and mix that with uh, the white acrylic paint to get a nice layer of grey and uh, that little piece of paper you see there is uh, one of those little um, bags the glycerin bags and I think that you call them that way so it was a bit difficult it started to wrinkle but I really didn't care so I went in with a little black of acrylic and then used the stencil to lift off uh, from the paper. I lift the paint off, you know what I mean. And uh, gave a very nice textured idea. So you see here I'm bringing the yellow back. It needed it. <laughs> and go in with the stencil again. And uh, really liking the way this looks. Again, I'm showing it later on Instagram so you can see pictures it's just that I wanted to show you the process or so nothing special and that's why it's just taped the way I've done it I sped it up four times that's it so um, uh, using the stones as you can see just stamping the Nom Deli paper that I got from Cheryl and uh, really loving it and just stamped it with black archival and then I fussy cut it as you can see it's a really nice stamp shed. It has uh, two crows, um, some, um, I think they call them daisies or something like that. Japanese uh, daisies, I think. I don't know. On a branch. Uh, you've seen me use it. And um, this stack of stones. Really pretty. And just gluing it down. It was a bit tricky because the deli paper is so thin. It was... Uh, curling and folding and so drying it and then go over it with my um, charcoal pencil I didn't know why I framed it like this but really liking it I'm just going around the stones and so trying to keep it simple you know you see I'm in for out of frame I'm sorry for that but uh, can't help it now that's uh, yeah it was stacked so I'm gluing down the words just uh, I could cho choose other words or sentences or whatever but I chose to do the words or the prompts on each and every page so going in with the bit intense just to uh, accentuate the numbers as you can see and I'm going to do the on the other side as well here just a little now then I think we've got oh yeah a little yellow on the edges and a little black you know that for me by now and now I forgot to tape uh, this I'm sorry but I made circles with uh, gesso and then I went around it with um, uh, come on then yeah um, what did I use my crayons my oil a water-based oil pastels no well crayons that oil crayons that you can use with water and uh, this is called round and you see I was starting to lose my uh, um, flow and going way too much 
uh, to do too much to one tiny page. Need to try and keep it simple. Can't seem to do that. So chose to cut out some circles and uh, just gluing them down on the on the paper. And that I think that's my biggest problem that I do too much. Maybe. In the end, I thought, okay, I like it. So when do you call it too much? I don't know. Now, gluing them down, random. Just the colors don't really match, do they? But in the end, it still looks pretty. Well, I think so, anyway. Now, um, using gel medium again, because that's easy uh, with the background as well, because that are these are oily pastels. If you go over them with a marker, they clog up your uh, tip of your marker. So chose to do the whole page with jelly or gel medium to make sure that I can go in with a marker if I need to. Mixing the two colors of paint, the neon pink and the purple from Nicotex. I don't know which color it is. I think uh, something magenta. And you see that I thought it was way too busy trying to tone it down with the pink. Had maybe should have chosen another color. Don't know why I didn't do that. And again, out of frame. The other ones will be in frame. I promise. Well, try to. Okay. And another one, the stencil, lift the lift it off again, circles of course, because the theme is red, uh, round, I'm sorry. It starts to look quite nice. Well, I thought so. And drying it again, of course. And what did I do? Sorry, yawning again, as I always do. Oh, my uh, trusted friend, my dormant intense, just go around the circles here and there. And then get a water brush, a very thin tip, and go around them. Not neat, just make circles with your hand and go over it. As you can see, it works quite well. It's just a nice way to start getting your freedom of art journaling back. As I said, I was so focused on making pretty things with faces and the right stamps and I forgot what it's all about. It's just free play. Not using that much stamps in the book. Just working with my hands and trying to come up with nice ideas. See here I'm trying to doodle just a little bit, give uh, some accents here and there, just little white dots. Don't know why I place them there, don't ask. <laughs> uh, I just look, if it looks right, then it should be all right. Just going in with, this is a gel marker, gel pen. It's quite simple. Works well on almost every s slick surface, so. Don't know, I might not have sped this uh, part up. Do you see that? It's just slowed down a little. Well, doesn't really matter, does it? Um, and what did I do? Oh, here, here is the list of prompts. The marks challenge, and this was called round as you can see. So I'm back again. Um, I found that I forgot to um, do something to this uh, journal. Well, do something to the last frame of this uh, journal. So I thought I'm just going to cut it anyway. <laughs> so and speed it up again, of course. So I didn't miss much. I just missed my doodling. Going with a black marker and uh, 
that's it basically so i hope you like these little tiny videos uh, and i'll see you next time bye bye